explain the transition that's happening in DAISY right now, moving from using Tron to Tron USDT. Brilliant change, but many of you have reached out not quite understanding the impact. This has an impact for everyone, whether you're already part of the DAISY community or whether you're looking to get started with the DAISY community very soon, this has an impact for you. And this video will cover every single impact that you may have on different people. And before we dive right into it, it's important that I share a disclaimer with you. So please go ahead and take a screenshot or read through this disclaimer. What I would also like to add here is I am not a financial advisor and no part of this video should constitute as financial advice. Many of you reached out when you heard that DAISY is now going to use Tron USDT rather than Tron, wanting some more information. So this video is just for you. Uh, and if you were one of them, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Now, what is changing in the whole DAISY project? It is just the medium of payment just the currency, the cryptocurrency that is being used. It used to be Tron, also known as TRX. It will now be the Tron USDT, which is in fact known as USDT. But we're calling it Tron USDT because it has to be transacted on the Tron blockchain, on the Tron network, because DAISY smart contract is based on the Tron smart contract. So let's just take a look at the actual smart contract distribution of funds, which we are all very familiar with, and see where are the main impacts. And then we'll go into each individual impact, how it impacts people who are already part of the business, what you need to do, and how does it impact people who are looking to join and what they need to do. So the distribution of funds doesn't change. You would still use your Tron wallet the same Tron wallet you're registered with if you're already part of the community. You would make your DAISY contribution, except that this contribution would be made in USDT transacted on the Tron blockchain. Let me make sure that you can read this properly. There we go. And then 50 to 70% goes into live trading to the DAISY fund up to 46% into the referral plan. Now, here is the main reason of the switch from Tron, TRX, to USDT. You see, when people were making their contribution in Tron, by the time the funds was reaching to Endotech and the TRX was getting converted to USDT because the funds are held in USDT, Here's the challenge. So the value of Tron is changing all the time. In the first batch of contributors, well, there was a minus 5%. The value of Tron went down by 5%. So if you had $50 going into trading with Endotech, well, you already lost 5%. And that's just because of the value of Tron has gone down. Whereas now, because it's on USDT, which is a stable coin, it cannot change. So that is the main reason of the switch over. But what changes is when you are contributing here, you're paying in, in USDT. When the profit rewards comes to you, they come in USDT, as well as when the referral plan is paying out from the DAISY crowd up to 46%, that will also come in USDT. That is the only things that are changing. But the impact and what we need to do is what this video is going to cover for you. Now, why Tron USDT? It's important to understand that USDT is the cryptocurrency. We call it Tron USDT because it has to be transacted on the Tron blockchain. So I would use the term that you're going to see on the exchanges, which is USDT on the TRC20 network. That's on the Tron blockchain. You see, it allows automated interaction between members and DAISY, but it also allows all promises to be executed with 100% accuracy. Because USDT is a stable coin, the accuracy will be at 100% because unlike Tron or any other cryptocurrency, non-stable coin, 
which varies. When you contribute $100 with $50 going into the trading, well, because it's in USDT, which is always pegged by the US dollar, so it's always $1 in value, well, we are not gambling with possibly the price of TRX going up or down. Also, the Tron blockchain, including the USDT TRC20, allows for low gas fees. Now, the fees have to be paid in TRX, Tron. Some of you may be guessing already and understanding that that is how partly you are impacted, but we'll get right to that. And why TRX USDT? Because it dominates all USDT liquidity in the market. Now, what we need to know at this point is when you're making a contribution, you would require both TRX and TRX USDT. Although the contribution will be in TRX USDT, the fees, as we've just mentioned, will be charged in TRX. And TRX USDT is what we will all be receiving as rewards. We will no more receive Tron TRX, but we will receive. USDT. Okay, so here are the three impacts for members. The first type is for those who already have funds in TRX already in your Tron wallet, in your Tron Link wallet. So you would need to convert to USDT. And we're going to show you an example shortly. Others are who you need to send TRX and USDT into your Tron link because you haven't, you're looking to join, but you haven't joined yet. And you currently haven't sent the funds into your Tron wallet that you're gonna use, hopefully the Tron link, which is the one that DAISY uh, community uses. The third type of members that is impacted is the existing members and those looking to join because this has an impact on your withdrawal. When you withdraw, you will be taking out USDT from your Tron link, and you'll be transacting it on the Tron network. Now, before we go into all of these three examples, we're gonna show you these live. You've got to know that the main exchanges that accepts TRX USDT, or allows USDT to be transacted on the TRC20, on the Tron network, are Binance, KuCoin, Bitfinex, Poloniex and Bitthumb. Now there are others, but these are the major ones. Now I'm going to use Binance as an example today to show you how we can transact. But let's look at number one first. If you are someone who's already got the funds in your Tron wallet, your Tron Link wallet, well, this applies to you. You need to convert your TRX or most of your TRX into USDT. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Okay, so here is one of my test wallet that I've sent for this purpose. As you see, I've already got some TRX. So imagine I have my TRX right now waiting to get started on tier one, $100. But if you look further below, you will see USDT. I hope you can see where it says USDT here, right on your screen. Now that is what we need, but I've got TRX. So what you need to do is at the bottom in your TronLink app where you see market, you're gonna to go to market, and you're gonna convert the amount of TRX you need to cover the contributions you wanna make. In this example, I wanna make a contribution of $100. So I'm gonna need, let's say 1,950 TRX. Now remember, very important. When you will contribute in DAISY, it will take USDT, but the transaction fees will be taken in TRX, which means you should not convert all your TRX into USDT. Transaction fees are expected to be around 30 TRX, which is around a dollar or something like that. What we would advise is to have at least 50 to 100 TRX to be on the safe side, remaining in your wallet on top of the amount in USDT. 
So here, if I go, okay, instant swap. Confirm, you ask me for my password. And once I do that, we just wait for it to be transacted. Transaction submitted. And it's normally pretty instant. And if we go here, you can see now I've already got my $101. I'm going to need $100 in USDT to contribute to tier one. But I also have some TRX left over so that I can actually pay the fees because the blockchain, the network will take the fees in TRX. So that's you. If you were waiting to get started or you were waiting to upgrade to a higher tier and the funds were already in your Tron name. Now, the second type is people who needed to send the funds from an external exchange to their Tron link wallet. So let's go and have a look at, let's have a look here. I've got one Binance account set up here. Now you would see we have Tron, TRX, and we have USDT, also known as Tether US. Let's say I need to send now, if you have nothing in your Tron link, you will need to send both USDT and TRX. You need to send enough USDT to cover all the contributions you want to make and enough TRX to cover the fees for each transaction you're going to make. I'm going to use an example of USDT. So I'll go to my Binance. I've already got USDT, by the way. I'll go withdraw. And if I put, I hope it's already there. No, it's not. That's fine. I need to then open my email. And we're going to go and get the wallet address that I want to send this USDT to and show you a live transaction. Go. So that's my test wallet here, right here. Now, I put my recipient wallet. That is my USDT wallet address from TronLink, which will be exactly the same as your Tron wallet in TronLink. Now, you see here, this is where you get to choose the TRC20, which has a fee of just $1. Remember when I say, it's much cheaper to transact on the Tron blockchain than Ethereum blockchain. Look at the difference. It would cost $20 fee on the Ethereum blockchain, but just $1 on the Tron wallet. Now, here's the great news. If you by mistake chose Ethereum ERC20, it will tell you that this address does not match. I don't know about other exchanges, but Binance is great like that. That's why I love to use Binance. Uh, but here we have to use the TRC20. And if I put, let's say, you know, send 100 USDT, which would get me 99 because of one USDT transaction fee. So I put 101, assuming that I'm a new person, I need to have $100 for my first contribution. And on top of that, I need to send my TRX. So I would submit this. It would ask me for the code. And once I input this code, it will send my 100 TRX into my wallet, which I'm going to be using for contributions. Now, going back, we now have, have number three. This applies to everyone, whether you're existing part of the DAISY community or you're looking to get started soon, you're going to have to withdraw your USDT at some point. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to go and show you how I can withdraw from my Tron link to my Binance. So I'm going to stop the share here. There we go. So we're back to Binance. I'll go back to my list of wallets. And I want to now receive my USDT into my Binance. So I'll go deposit. I have to choose here the TRC20 because that's the Tron network. And this would be the wallet address that I would copy. And from 
from my Tron link, this is the wallet address that you have to withdraw your USDT to. And that will then bring your USDT into your Binance or any other exchange that you're looking to use, whether it's Poloniex, Bitfinex, or any of the others. Once your USDT is in your exchange, well then you can use that to transact on any of the different blockchain. You could convert it to any other crypto or do whatever you need. So we hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And if that was the case, make sure you like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share this video amongst your team so that everyone has a good understanding prior to getting started. Thank <laughs> you.